Hi there, welcome. We've got another short class today. Um, if the, the, the option to use a block is there, so if you have one, bring it along. If you don't have one, don't fret, you don't need it at all. Um, it will just, using the block will increase the intensity of the practice. So having said that, let's get started. And we'll do that on our backs. And how about bringing the crown of your head towards me? So at the front instead of the other way around. And we'll take this block, again, no block, bring the soles of the feet together. Block, you choose which width or of the block. Let's just do the long side to start with. And we'll bring the soles of the feet on the sides of the block. And we're gonna just support ourselves sliding down onto the back of the head, letting the knees fall out. Now here, if you get familiar or when you get familiar with this uh, little practice, it's gonna be under 10 minutes. You could, you know it's coming, so you could put pillows underneath here. Let's bring the palms down into the lower belly, relaxing the back of the shoulders and closing our eyes just for a moment. Set the intention, just create the space for even this short little practice. Good. Now, let's open the eyes, just keep the gaze soft and we'll bring the legs up and the soles of the feet to the mat. Just use that to switch the block around now to the wide low edge and put the feet on the block again or on the mat and slide the hands now off the belly onto the floor, palms down. Press both feet down into the block and reach. open up the hips to the sky, release the back of the shoulders, make sure the neck is soft. Just breathe up here. Again, if you want to intensify it even more when you're using the block, you can just put the backs of the ankles on the block and lift the feet completely. Otherwise, just keep a full footed on the block or on the ground and just start to lift and lower the hips a little bit. Just bring in some openness and hip flexors some heat, some flow, just a couple more of these. And on this one, stay up, stay up. Again, get broad in the upper chest, broad in the upper back. Breathe right here. That's it. And then lower all the way down, slide the feet off the block and bring them to the short ends. So the feet will be slightly wider than the hip distance apart. Let's plug our belly down into the spine and the spine, the lower back into the mat. Press that block in between the feet, bring the knees over the hips and the shin parallel to the floor. Let's bring the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers just gently now, okay? And we'll square up the elbows above the shoulders, press the lower belly in, and we'll just peel up the upper back from the mat, gazing down, that central spine, pressing into the block, and then slowly coming back to the back of the head. Keep the elbows as they are. Now keep the, press the lower back in and bring the thighs in towards the belly. Hold it there, breathing. Hold it there, breathing, bringing it back. Do a couple more of these. Press the lower back in, bring the thighs towards the arms. Feel the fanning out over the sacrum. One more, press the lower back in, press into the block. Good. And bring the legs all the way down and just put the block off the mat. Take the hands from behind the head and we'll just roll over onto our tummies, bringing the forearms to the mat. The toes curled under, lifting to the knees, spreading the chest, take a moment here. And then when we feel ready, straighten those legs, firm up the thighs, just building this heat in the stillness. Again, just notice the comfort in the neck. Breathe through all the dark corners and firing up the front of the body, being long down the back. Knees come down to the mat, hips come down, forehead at the hairline comes down, just slide the hands back and release the top of the feet on the mat. Anchor the pubic bone down for a moment and just crest up into a small little gentle cobra, breathing here, softening on the exhale and then maybe 
Inhaling up a little bit higher, elbows again, tracking behind the wrist is comfortable. And then pull the belly up and push all the way back to the heels, stretching out the back body, keeping the arms active though. Press down to the palms and just sit here, allowing the back body to release. Good. And now we're gonna bring the shoulders over the wrists, the toes curled under, the legs lift away from the mat. We find this high plank, just find the evenness through the first joints in each finger, the strong legs and those heels ankled behind the toes, that's it. And again, just be patient and breathe here. And then we're gonna soften the knees, which means bend them a little bit towards the ground, send the hips up and back and just slowly find the downward dog. Let's breathe in the shape. Again, feeling that deep hinge around the tops of the legs, full footed, full handed. <laughs> yeah. And now let's combine those three. So into a nice flow. On an inhale, come to your plank, keep the heels behind the toes for now. Knees down, exhaling all the way back, reach to the arms. Feel the body stretch now, find plank, and bring the shoulder caps into the body, exhale, hinge upside down. In, out breath, come back towards the heels, really stretch those toes. Vitalize those arches, come back to plank on that inhale, fire up the thighs, exhale up and back. Two more of those, inhaling, exhale down. In, and exhale back, good. Let's step through to the hands. You might need to bend the legs a little bit and we'll just bring our bottom down to the mat. Take a moment to wrap the hands around the shins. Let the chin soften in. Lengthen the back of the neck. Good. Let's take the right leg out. Bring the sole of the left in. Flexing the ankle over the right foot. And keep the toes looking to the ceiling. We'll just bring the left arm up. Stretch it for reach, reach forward through it, noticing the feedback in the lower back, left side. Reach for the ankle or the foot. And then right hand just is there for support. If you wanna hold to go ahead, otherwise just really soak up that deep, rich opening for the left side, the body. Just another breath here, reaching to the crown and offering the fold. On an inhale, let go slowly, reach back out. Bring that left hand down behind, point the toes of the right foot and inhale up, up and over. Good, come all the way back down. Let's help that right leg in. We'll take the left one out, find the same shape on the other side. Good, right arm comes out parallel to the floor. Reach, hinge over that, reach, 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 reach. reach. Find the foot or the ankle. Left hand supporting us and start to fold, offering the softness in the front body and that deep stretch in the back. It should feel really good. Mm -hmm. good. Bring it back up, planting that right hand, pointing the left leg through the foot and reach up. Just stretch out the front of that hip and come back down, bring that left leg back in and find just seated here take a moment to bring the hands where you feel comfortable palms down again lengthening up the chest closing the eyes just become still for a moment We'll just bring the hands together to the heart or wherever it feels comfortable. And we'll just fold over towards the ground, towards the earth in gratitude. Thank you for sharing your practice. And I hope uh, you feel 
that much better for it and enjoy your day or your evening or your morning.